Well, good morning, Lion Hearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. I am super excited today. I've been kind of taunting and teasing you guys with this all week, and today is our day. Let me tell you what we're going to do today and how it happened. The other day, I opened up an email. It's from Hornblower. Hornblower wrote me a message and said, We like what you're doing. Would you like to come and tour John Wayne's yacht on Monday? John Wayne lived on a houseboat and owned a houseboat for about 18 years of his life. Sold it shortly before he died. He had some of his most precious moments and some of his favorite moments of all time on this boat. And in fact, when he knew he was going to die, he convalesced on this boat. So it's quite an honor we're going to get to see. They're going to basically just let us tour the whole boat. <laughs> How exciting is that? John Wayne's Wild Goose. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Now the houseboat that we're going to see today is actually a converted World War II naval minesweeper. The ship is still docked in Newport Beach, so that's where we're headed today. Well, here we are, the Porta Marina, where for almost 18 years, John Wayne would set sail in between making and starring in 147 movies. Today we get to see his true love and joy, the Wild Goose. Now like I said, this was a decommissioned naval ship, but John Wayne was not the original owner. When they decommissioned it, a billionaire named Max Wyman bought it, turned it into a houseboat, and then when he got tired of it, John Wayne was looking to upgrade from the boat he already had, saw this, and purchased it. Now when I say this was John Wayne's boat, I truly mean this was John Wayne's boat because John Wayne was six foot four. And so it wasn't too long after buying this boat that he would have to have the ceilings raised so that he wouldn't have to walk through with his head tilted at an angle from bumping his head on the ceilings. Well my friends, thanks to Hornblower, we get to tour this beautiful ship today. As promised, we're going inside John Wayne's world, the wild goose. There she is. Now John Wayne didn't even name this. Max Wyman's actually the man who named it the wild goose too. And then once John Wayne bought it, he just took the two off and kept it the wild goose. All right, well I was just shown around and given free reign to let you guys see everything, so let's go. Now, let me tell you why this is so exciting for me also. It's because every year at this time of the year, John Wayne's birthday, they do a cruise that anybody can pay and ride on this boat. So if you get excited and you wanna do this on your own, you're near Orange County, you too can ride the wild goose. Well, as soon as you come on board, you're greeted by the wild goose plaque, as well as letting you know that this is now a historical landmark. Now let's take a walk around. Now, like I said, this is converted for dinner cruises. And what they do is they actually take you on the same exact route that John Wayne would have taken out here. He had a house not too far from here, had the boat docked there most of the time, and loved to go up and down the Newport coast. So you can really live it out. Now, this was the bar area. How cool is that? And then check out all the details like the wood detail. Now there's that beautiful bar. And they've basically told me, hey, go anywhere you want. So we're gonna go down into the engine room. We're gonna show you his bedroom, his kid's bedroom. Look at that intricate woodwork. Isn't that great? Just think, you being the bartender here serving John Wayne right there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave the bar room and instead of going upstairs, which we will go pretty soon, we're going to go around I'm going to show you one of the Duke's favorite rooms. This was where he used to play bridge. John Wayne was an avid bridge player. In fact, when I read the book about Rock Hudson, when Rock Hudson got one of his first roles, it was with John Wayne. And when he showed up on set, John Wayne was always playing bridge on set, always playing cards with people, always looking for people to sit in and play cards. And he invited Rock Hudson to sit down and play when he was still known as Roy. And they became fast friends and were friends for the rest of their life. 
Now what I read online was that when John Wayne started getting sicker, instead of going upstairs to his bedroom, since he would spend so much time in here playing cards and playing bridge, can you just imagine him sitting in any one of these chairs day after day? They said literally um, in an interview that he would wake up, a lot of times do his workout, whatnot, and then he would play bridge most of the day until he would go to bed about 8 p.m. So he would spend his, I guess, years when he was failing in health, instead of going up to his bedroom, a lot of times he would just lay there and take a nap there. Now this mural, this has a great story as well because he loved battleship scenes. And when he originally got the boat, that wasn't there. So what he did was at the studio that he was working at, he had them make a printout. Basically what this is, is this is the same image cut in half and just duplicated. He had them do, you know, a massive black and white version of this, had it put on here, and then had one of his buddies at the studio who was a uh, an art director, an art, worked in the art department, come out and hand paint it. Isn't that great? Look at that. He loved that kind of stuff. And once we get up to his bedroom, you'll see there's something very similar to this there as well. Now here you can see some of the old uh, the old naval specs and different things from from when it was a naval ship. Now one of the things that he was so great about also is that John Wayne respected the fact this was a naval ship and did everything he could to um, anytime there was any kind of maintenance needed, he kept it in the exact same vein as what the naval requirements were or uh, kept it in the same vein and didn't really update it. And check this out. Now he didn't, when he lived on board, he didn't have a lot of photos of himself from what I understand. He had family photos and things like that, but not really many of himself. However, a lot of these were painted by either Frank Terrell or his wife Pilar. So you'll see some of them as we walk around, you'll see Pilar's name in the, uh, the corner. But just because Hornblower owns it and now they have so many John Wayne events, they've put all these different John Wayne movie posters up lining the room. That one was done by Pilar. You can see actually right there it says her name. Pilar Wayne. And there she is. That's an original instrument from the boat. Now, gotta love this. Isn't this such a treat? Now, let's go ahead and let's take a walk upstairs. Actually, this will take us, let's do this first. This takes you into what was the galley, and then from here, we can go down into the engine room. So I'm sure he would have had many snacks and meals prepared for him here. But let's go take a look down into the engine. We are So right in here is the engine and what I found out online was that the engine that's in this ship was originally a locomotive engine or a train engine that they repurposed and put in this ship when the military had it. So let's go in there and I'll show you right here. Right there is the engine and right there. Now if we take this ladder up, that takes us, that drops us off right where the bar was where we kind of walked in and started. So now we're going to turn around, we're going to go back upstairs, and I'm going to take us up to John Wayne's bedroom. You can totally tell you're in like a Navy ship with this doorway, huh? Okay, now we're going to go over here. It works! <laughs> it works! And we're going to take the stairs up to the second level. Yep. 
Yeah, and the way I found out about some of these paintings being Pilar's was I knew that he wasn't a big fan of having pictures of himself on here. So I was curious as to where they came from, and then they said, well, I think Pilar did them, and then I go, she sure did, right there. His life on the boat. Now this, they said this was another one of his bridge rooms. Check this out, you can even buy a, uh, a wild goose hat. Now they were telling me a really funny story because his captain is still alive. Burt Minshaw is 88 years old and when they do those cruises, Burt comes out and participates in those. And one of the stories they were telling me that he told was they said at one point somebody tried to break into John Wayne's house, not too far from here, right up here into Newport, and tried to steal his gun collection. So. He wanted to have a security system installed and he told the people that were installing it, he said what he wanted was, he just wanted a voice of his own that when the alarm went off it said, I see what you're doing you bastard. <laughs> How funny is that? There's the Duke's book collection. Check out these old Pacific reporters. Isn't that interesting to see? He was an avid reader. You can find a lot of home footage, home movie footage of him sitting out reading books. Isn't that crazy? Leopard skin print here. Oh, look how old the, uh, just the furnishings are in here. How beautiful is that? Yeah, the Wild Goose Library. When John Wayne owned the yacht, this area was an open back deck. The third deck had not yet been added either. It says, there used to be a large four poster bed in the corner and the wall at the very back sides completely open to give access to the poop deck and a great panoramic view of the harbor. The poker table and animal print chairs used to be on the poop deck. These items, the leather chair, ottoman, and desk are all from John Wayne's era of ownership. So, there you go. All of this stuff would have been from his era. Now the bathroom in here is pretty fantastic. Let's take a look. You have more of those amazing wood carvings right here on the door. How about that? Now this was not his bedroom, so don't get too excited because we're gonna get to really get up close and personal in John Wayne's life. This is awesome, you know he used it and look how cool all the decoration is, but wait till we get to his room because his bedroom, completely unchanged, completely unchanged. Now let's head over there now. Now this, was his kids room. This was Ethan and Aitza's sleeping quarters. And I'll tell you what's interesting about that. You can see that we came in through this door, but at night he used to lock the door from the outside from what I understand, because he didn't want to take the risk of anything happening to them, them falling over or anything like that. So he made it so that if they wanted to leave, they had to pass through his room, which was through here. Oops, looks like they have it closed up on me. But yeah, he had it so that they had to go through his room and to get uh, to get anywhere else. So this was John Wayne's bedroom right here. Like I said, it's been unchanged. Isn't that amazing? This chair, that was here. That was the chair that he used to sit and read in. I'm not gonna sit in it out of respect, but I am gonna touch it. That's pretty awesome. Check out that bed. That was his bed. 
And there's the painting above that I was telling you about. Another battleship scene. He loved those battleship scenes. You know how special that is? To see something that he hand selected to be in his bedroom in somewhere that he spent a big majority of his life for the last almost 18 years. Now this is going to blow your mind when we go in this bathroom. Yeah, this is incredible. The wild goose. His bathroom. Bamboo mirror, you see that? His sink. His sink. That horse. And then look at this. Marine toilet. So that's the Duke's bathroom. And where the Duke's toilet paper would have sat. <laughs> There's a shower. Some, uh, some gold knobs, yeah. Looks like there were some jets in there. Nice, nice. All right, let's close that up. And here's that door I was telling you about. That's the door we were trying to come into from the kids' room. They would have been, they had a bathroom on the other side of this door, but they would have been able to enter in through here. And then he would have, of course, been sleeping right here, so he could be the hero. Now, let's go up to the top deck. You're gonna love this. Well, actually, we're gonna go up to the, the front here. John Wayne's anchor. Now this is special because his very last interview was with Barbara Walters. And there's a part where you see John Wayne and Barbara Walters both standing right here. John is right in front of this kind of thicker white piece because you can see that right over his shoulder. And Barbara Walters is standing right over here on the other side of him. And the camera just keeps zooming in right here. And at the time, you see that, that glass piece above? There would have been another one of those going along here. So that famous shot of them would have actually been right here. Now I'm super excited because they actually went and unlocked the wheel room, I guess you would say, so that I can get in here and show you. There's a photo of, oh, maybe it's the other side photo of Barbara Walters sitting in a chair in here. Is it this side they opened up? Yes. Then we'll go up there eventually. Okay. Now, the Duke was the captain of this ship, okay? And when I say the captain of this ship, there was a rule. Nobody touched that brass but the Duke. And that rule was always followed. Burt Minshaw said in an interview that he was the man who would polish this brass. Even when he polished it, he would touch it by the spokes. And when he would steer the boat, he would steer it by the spokes, never ever touching that. And I'm not gonna touch it either. Now, a lot of the, this wood paneling, this is newer. This wasn't in here when he owned the boat. However, all the devices and all of the mechanics and everything, it is. So these are the same type of things that these would have been on the boat when he was here. Now, obviously that wouldn't have been here, but. Signed photos. Look at 
that signed photo. And then there he is, standing at the wheel. Right directly behind us, right here. That shot would have been right there. Can you believe it? And Barbara Walters actually sat right here in that photo. And then I'm guessing this would have been Bert's area because uh, he became the captain, I think, after two years of being on the boat. And here's a little uh, sleeping area down here as well. Isn't that amazing? I mean, we've, we're have we about as much of a private guest on John Wayne's boat right now as you could possibly be. I mean, we literally have the whole boat to ourselves, except for anybody that might be on board to help answer questions for me or, or open up anything. We're looking out John Wayne's window. I mean, as captain, this is, that's the view he would have been looking out those windows every time. How about that? This was the pilot house officially says. And you can kind of see back in there, there's the wild goose axe. I can't show you any more of it because you can't move this chair, you see? They've got it bolted in or they've got it, you know, fastened in there. Now let's go see, see some more of the boat here. Now one thing a lot of people don't know about John Wayne that was really funny about reading on this boat was that John Wayne wore a hairpiece. He wore a wig and he didn't really care if anybody knew it. He only wore it as like a prop, you know, as an actor would because people didn't want to see him bald. But when he was on this ship, he never wore the hairpiece unless somebody was coming to do an interview or an article or anything like that. So a lot of the whole movie footage that you see is him wearing a, a toupee, you know, or, or the whole movie footage, he's not wearing any hairpiece at all. And if you do see it, then now you know it was, you know, it was a toupee. Now what's interesting here is this is all new, okay? This, this level, this third level that we're on right now, this is kind of the dining area. And uh, that's pretty classy, I love that. So when you come do a cruise or you come have a meal, you're actually on here, but this was not originally here when he owned it. Now it's a tiny bit of a bummer for me because one of the main things that I really was looking forward to matching up was where this used to be, or what used to be here before. Not anything really that big of a deal, but this was, this was where John Wayne used to do his weightlifting. Originally, right over here is where there was a a little red couch that he used to always sit on and read on and he would lift weights with Bert right here in front. But with the additions, I totally get it, you know. Couldn't keep everything the same. Now let's go up here, get some footage up here. Now we're on the very top section. Can you believe we're on John Wayne's boat, man? The wild goose. So if you come decide to be a part of the John Wayne celebration that's happening over the next month, they give you champagne, they take you out on a uh, ride pretty much over by his house, and you get the full experience. Now a lot of you know that I used to be friends with Shelly Winters when she was alive, and I asked her if she ever knew him because at the time that I knew her, I was really getting into watching uh, like Rooster Cogburn and McClintock and things like that, and I asked her, what do you think of him as an actor? Because she would sometimes say that she thought, you know, uh, popular actors were like an old type of acting and that she didn't really like it. And she said, look, honey, you don't get to make that many movies without being good. She goes, he's a really nice man and he was good at what he did. And it's funny, I found an interview with him and they were, they were saying, you know, you've always, some people have always kind of pigeonholed you and said that you were one trick pony and not really a good actor. And he said, I've been doing it 50 years, you'd think I would have learned something over this time. So we're going to go ahead and end our beautiful tour here in John Wayne's bedroom. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. I can't thank Hornblower enough for inviting me out and letting me see every nook and cranny of this place that I wanted to. Now Hornblower did not sponsor this video or anything like that other than the fact that they just said we like what you're doing and we'd like to let you see it. In fact they told me today that uh, when they were showing me around he said yeah I was watching your Barbara Stanwyck video from yesterday <laughs> you know so it's pretty cool. It's nice to know that um, the owner of Hornblower is a big John Wayne fan and so he's committed to not only sharing this history with other people making this available for parties and cruises but he also goes out of his way to make sure that any maintenance that needs to be done on here is done in the same fashion that John Wayne would be happy with and that it will continue to have the same parts that the Navy ship had and that it will always be John Wayne's ship and Hornblower will just be the one that helps facilitate other people getting to enjoy its history. What do you think? Now I just wanted to try and attempt to give you a little bit better view of some of the art that's here on the uh, on the boat before we head out. Now my goal and what I'm hoping is to book myself a night on the cruise with everyone else and I want to come out and vlog what the experience is like if they'll let me. So hopefully we will come back and we'll show you the John Wayne birthday evening cruise. I know it's crazy but it's just kind of cool to just touch a doorknob that you know he would have been opening. And this room is also the same room that he had to have the ceilings raised because as you can tell, I'm 6'3 and a half. And when the Duke lived here, this was his fireplace. This was an operating fireplace. Look at that. I just love the detail in here. And then I love this in the old home movies. You can see him right over here messing around. Oh man, can't believe we got to do this today. I'd say this was one of the best vlogs we've ever gotten to do. What do you think, guys? Wild Goose, what a blast. I can't help but think of all those old stories about when you just look at this and how when he would be on the boat, his exercise regiment would, he would walk around the entire boat like 20, 30 times a day and then he would lift weights right up there. How crazy is that? Unbelievable. All right, Lionhearts, we are gonna take off Newport Beach, but like I said, hopefully we'll come back. And I have started talking to them about possibly doing a meetup with you guys here. Maybe a limited of 20, 25 people. We'll find out a price we're gonna deal with, uh, see if Hornblower will maybe figure out something, and maybe we'll do a meetup out here. How great would that be? All right, let's get out of here. Is it just me or does that chimney on the side of that building look like a necktie? Doesn't that look like a necktie? Well, on the freeway, my tire just blew out, so I had to get in, stop and buy a new tire. And look who is eagerly awaiting my return. Did you miss me? You did, didn't you? Good to see you, Jaw. Nobody's got to see you yet today. You're not, you weren't allowed on the boat, unfortunately. Well, you probably would have been, but I didn't ask. Well, that's going to do it for us here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the wild goose. I wanted to thank Amanda Heffernan for becoming my newest Patreon. And thank you, Hornblower, for inviting me out. I, you know, they weren't a sponsor here or anything. They just like what we're doing, and they wanted to let us show it. So, thank you so much. I had a blast. That was, that was kind of a bucket lister for me. I always wanted to see the inside of that thing, and I was not disappointed. That was as beautiful and as personal as I thought it would be. So have a great night, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. 
We have another road trip tomorrow, another big two days worth of adventures, and then we're going on another trip after that. So have a great night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.